right, guys. Welcome to the channel. It's Adam with ND72. So today we're back with the CLK55. This is the W209 CLK55 that we got. So far, just a little recap. We got an interior, put some racing seats in there, built a full exhaust for it. Well, almost full exhaust for it. We got... That's basically it. So now we're going to do a little bit of go fast and some fun parts. So this car, we put the little paddle shifters on the steering wheel. It came with the paddle buttons. We, threw, we just threw the shifters in there. So what we're going to do to make that more fun is a TCU tune. So we got a TCU tune sent over from VTEC. He tuned almost all my TCU. So far, I like it a lot. And it, one big thing that it doesn't really make you go faster, this part of the TCU tune, but it's funner. You get to use your paddle shifters whenever you want. So before, how you always had to do it, you had to push it in manual mode. Then you had to push it. Now you just be in sport, comfort, whatever. Boom, boom, and it'll work. So just the cool factor alone, TCU tunes are worth it. And you go a little bit faster, better shifting, so on and so forth. Also, what we're doing from VTEC is getting in ECU tune. So we're going to get some more little ponies out of this. Maybe roughly 30 horsepower. We'll see how it goes. And we're just trying to have some fun with it. All right, so to install the TCU tune, very simple. It's literally a plug and play. So you don't need to send yours in. You don't need nothing. He'll send you a new one. We already got our install, but it's basically this panel right here. You're going to remove the 10 mil. So you got a 10 mil you remove right there, and then a few 10 mils, and this whole thing leans forward, and you'll see your TCU back there. It's going to look exactly like this is the factory one. And then you just plug it in. Very, very simple, and you just put all the stuff back. So literally, the TCU is just plug and play. All we did was plug it in, and now I'm going to fire up. I'm going to kind of show you the paddle shifter features, because that's one of like the cool things. And then we'll go for a test drive once we put the ECU in. Let's get all that uh, crap off there. So, so right now we're all right. So, to show you normally you would have to go all in a manual mode to make the paddles even work, but now we could just go to like regular sport mode and then watch. I just push, boom, and then it goes right to first gear, and then same thing, right to second, so on and so forth. Whatever gear I want, and that'll work in all three modes. So on comfort mode. All right, so that is like, I like that feature a lot. It's just a fun, cool feature, but also the TCU is going to help you shift faster. And now we're going to install the ECU. I've done plenty of these on the, on the videos and on the channel and all that stuff. I'll put a link of one of the installs. It's very easy. VTech will send you a tune. You put it on your laptop. You install it. Maybe 30 minutes, if even. So we're going to throw it on this one, and then we'll probably go for a test drive. All right, guys. So we got the ECU all in. Very big thanks to VTech. He tunes all my cars. And a lot of my cars were Eurocharge cars, and now VTEC took care of me and like literally they make a night and day difference. So we're going to take this one out. My little concern is I think we're just going to spin just because we're still on the factory tires and they're not that sticky and because we dropped a lot of LBs. But at least we'll be able to see if it got a more speed to it. So we're taking the CLK out to a handy dandy little spot in Mexico. We got me and my driver to help me film and stuff like that. We're gonna go test out the ECU and the TCU. See if it's a little bit better. We might not even hook up, so we'll just see what we really can do. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so now we're gonna show the TCU and shifting and all that stuff. Do like a small little 20 pool. All right, guys. So at this point in the video, we kept doing pools, we kept baking footage. It's like 85, 90 degrees out, roughly out there. And we're just spinning the tires. So we definitely got a lot more power than we did before. And because we're spinning the tires, the car is now shifting a little bit early, not going properly and all that stuff. Like when you see we did the 20 pull, it definitely was a lot better than when we did the dig. So 100%, granted we kind of knew this would happen. You drop a poop little weight out of a car and then you add more power, of course you're gonna spin. And also if you guys notice where our suspension, we're basically driving around on like a mud truck almost because we're so high up. So now the rear end isn't kicking down as much. So it is what it is. So we did call it quits at Mexico and we are gonna try to make that a little bit better in the future. All right guys, so we got back from Mexico with doing the TCU and ECU testing. 
the car definitely, like, it probably gave us maybe 20 horsepower. You definitely feel it. I don't know if that's all just butt down or in the head. And the shifting is definitely a lot more smoother. And you get that cool little feature, so we're super happy with it. But we spin pretty bad. So next mod, what we're going to be doing is getting some bigger tires. We're going to see how big we can fit in there and get something a little bit stickier. Not a full slick, but something that's kind of like a road sticky tire. Maybe a 200 tread or maybe a 100 tread. I'm not too sure yet. But thanks for liking the video, guys. Well, I hope you do like it. Put a comment down there. Make sure you guys hit like and subscribe. Find me on Instagram at BuffyCLK500. And I'll catch you guys later. Baby. Yeah, that's, that's Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up.